What up YouTube? Welcome back again to Unscripted X. Today we're going to be doing some ASVAB word knowledge practice test. And without further ado, we can get, let's jump right into it. So the first question we have is exempt most nearly means. Exempt means empty, exit, excuse, anoint. Um, from my understanding of exempt, you know, is to be excluded from something or to to excuse yourself from something. And so I'm going to go with C for this one. So let's go with C for this one. For one, question two, recruit most nearly means react, enlist, permit, recur. So recruit means to enlist, right? Whenever we hear of a recruitment, it's to enlist someone or something into something, right? Um, Question three, the decision was unanimous. Unanimous is often used in boxing, right? Um, when, you know, someone wins unanimously means that all the judges voted for that person. So unanimous means questioned, undisputed, selective, trivial. I'd say B, undisputed, right? Because everyone, all the judges, or whether they be three or five or whatever, all voted for that one person. So it's undisputed. Question four, temperamental most nearly means. Temperamental just means someone maybe who isn't, um, someone who gets maybe angry quickly. So benevolent, lazy, volatile, demure. I'd say volatile, right? Because volatile, you don't quite know. I mean, when we when we talk about volatility in stocks, it's like movements. That's like something like this. So it's not stable. Um, question five, he chose the economical solution. Economical just means like something that's like mindful of price or cost. So I'd say um, costly, logical, comical. I'd say D, thriftly or thrifty. Five, the promotion made the rail happy. Promotion just means to elevate um in status so notice gifts elevation yep so it'll be c her behavior was unpredictable unpredictable we all know it's just you know something that is uh random i should say so i would i would go with b random eight is deny most nearly means deny a state avoid refuse open deny just means to refuse you were denied entry you were refused an entry making that decision at that time was irresponsible hapless giddy easy reckless so another way of saying irresponsible would be reckless right Persistent most nearly means for question 10. Persistent, gentle, unrelenting, resigned, manageable. Persistent just means you're like continuously trying something. So I'd say unrelenting for this one. Question 11. The opponent was more dominant. Dominant we all understand to be um, overriding, I'd say, for this one. Question 12, Mark was more conscientious than his friend. Conscientious means someone that's like mindful, hardworking, persistent. I mean, it, all all those words um, coming into one or converging into one would be conscientious. So painstaking, popular, friendly, handsome. I'd say painstaking, someone who's very thorough um, could also be known as conscientious. Diversion most nearly means, diversion just means distraction. Diverted attention, so it is distraction. The assumption was that she was correct. So assumption, uh, belief, decision, rumor, guess. Well, I'm, I'm between guess and belief. Um, but I would say an assumption... Assuming doesn't necessarily, doesn't necessarily mean you've made a guess yet. So I'd probably go uh, believe. For 14, 15, 
profess most nearly means profess. So when I like when I think about profess, I think more so like professing your love to someone. So work, claim, disguise, accuse. I'd say uh, work, profess, claim, disguise. So it definitely not disguise. It's also not accuse. Um, profess, profess. I I'm lean more so towards B for this one. The substance of their argument was trivial. Trivial just means maybe insignificant, inconsequential. Um, so B would be uh, my choice for this one. His attitude was optimistic. Optimistic just means sanguine, hopeful, all those words. So positive would probably be the, the closely... Um, a line and word. So 18 variable most nearly means variable means just something that's constantly changing. So different, gloomy, changeable. Um, I'd say this one. If you recall in algebra, we always use X and Y's and all these uh, variables or all these characters to represent variable, meaning they're constantly changing. It could be any um, anything. Um, so his words needed clarification. Clarification in this case, expansion, explanation, elimination, recognition. I'd, I'd say explanation. 20, the V was paranomic. Oh, uh, actually, no, the V was panoramic, panoramic. Panoramic actually just means like a wide, a wide view. So, a wide view, so unre beautiful, unrealistic, stylist, stylistic. And expansive. So because it's a wide view, I'd say expansive for this one. Um, compassionate most nearly means unwieldy, modern, concern, restrictive. I'd say concern for this one for compassionate. Contingent most nearly means contingent meaning something dependent on something. So it would be B for this one. 23, velocity most nearly mean velocity when I took physics almost always correlated with speed or something moving fast, swift. So variety, ver ver veracity, swiftness, overflow, I'd go with B, uh, C for this one. Um, her house was immaculate. Immaculate from every time I've seen it or heard it just means spotless clean. So 24 would be spotless. The visibility that day was very poor. So let me see. Visibility. Visibility just means having, you know, clear sight. Um, so, or clear view, it could mean. So clarity, test, observation, dichotomy. I'd, I'd go with A for this one, clarity. 26, the wind was so strong that the boat capsized. Capsized just means overturned, flipped. 27, the elected official abdicated responsibility for the situation. Abdicated meaning abandoned. Her skills made her eligible for the position. Eligible just meaning qualified. Buoyant most nearly means buoyant um, from, I think, maybe sixth grade. Um, from what I recall, either sixth grade or eighth grade, it could be, or maybe seventh grade, who knows. But buoyant just means something that can float. Um, so I'll go with A for this one. The pond was teeming with fish. Teeming meaning like full or um, crowded. So I'd go crowded. Bestow most nearly means. Bestow means to be given something. Um, so I say give. Meander most nearly means. Meander, twist, reverse, exceed, renew. Meander means to twist. Infiltrate most nearly means. Interfere, seek, enter. 
penetrate. Infiltrate, infiltrate, infiltrate. So interfere? I wouldn't think. Um, I don't think that's the one. Um, so seek, also not it. So infiltrate in this case then would be infiltrate means to enter something or to penetrate something. Infiltrate. Infiltrated the army or penetrate. Hmm. So it just it seems like there are two words here that uh very, very closely align. Um enter just seems too clean for infiltrate. i I'd probably go with D for this one. Um his science grade plummeted after that difficult exam. Plummeted just means soared, plunged, increased, failed. I'd say plunged. The monument was defiled by the visitors. So defiled just means to desecrate. So that's it for this uh, word knowledge test. We can check our answers um, here. So let's go check uh, how we did. So yeah, this is checking our answers. So question one, we got C excused. Question one, it looks like the answer was C. Question two, recruit, we picked enlist, which was B. Um, check in, the answer is B. Question three, the answer was B, undisputed. So question four, we got volatile which was C, that's correct. Question, let me see, question five, we got thrifty, which was D, the answer is correct. Question six, the answer is, okay, so give me a second here, let's, let's bring this one to this side. So question, question six, the answer was C, elevation. Question seven, the answer was B, random. Question eight, we got C. The answer was C, question nine, they got D, we got D also, question 10. We got B, they got B. Question 11, we got B, they got B also. Question 12, we got A, they got A also. Question 13, they got A, we got A. Question 14, we got A. They got A as well. Question 15, they got B, we got B. 16, we got B, they got B as well. 17, they got D, we got D. 18, they got C, we got C. 19, we got B, they got B as well. 20, they got D, we got D. 21, they got C, we got C. 22, they got B, we got B. 23, they got C. 23, they got C. We got C as well. 24, they got B, we got B. 25, they got A, we got A. 26, they got A, um, we got A as well. 27, 
they got D, we got D, 28, they got A, we got A, 29, uh, they got A, we got A, 20, I mean 30, they got C, we got C, 31, they got C, we got C, 32, they got A, we got A, 33. So 33, the, answers, the answer here says A, but uh, something must be wrong because there's no way infiltrate will be interfered. So let's look at the explanation that they have. Let's read it up. Okay, so it says infiltrate means to pass into or to seize control from within. The word interfere seeks, the word interfere and seek are not related to the definition. So, so yeah, they did make a mistake. So it's definitely not A. It should, the choice D is the correct answer. Yep, so we got that correct as well. They just made a slight, maybe it might, it might have been a typo. So 33 should have been D. 34 was B, we got correct. 35, we got B, they got B, so that's correct. And it looks like, it looks like that's about it. So we got everything correct on this one. Um, I'm gonna be posting more practice exams on here, so be on the lookout for that. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, do make sure to hit the subscribe button, share, and like. And um, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. And um, until then, peace.